I could easily have written twice as much about core graphics because it's capable of some extraordinary effects. Clipping paths, gradients, blend modes and more are just a few lines of code away, so there really is no excuse not to give them a try. We'll be doing more drawing with core graphics in Project 29, so you can't avoid it. This project's given you a sandbox where you can play around with various core graphics techniques easily, so I'd highly encourage you to spend more time tinkering with the code in your project. I have some suggested challenges for you, but you can also use code completion to try out new functions, change my values to others to see what happens, and so on. Playing with code like this can really help you discover new functionality, and will also help you remember more later on. Go and have fun. And remember, anyone can sit through a tutorial, but it takes actual work to remember what was taught. It's my job to make sure you take as much from these tutorials as possible. I've prepared another short review to help you check your learning. You can find a link to this on the main Hacking with Swift review page. Once again, it's time for your challenge. One of the best ways to learn is to write your own code as often as possible. So here are three ways you can put your newfound knowledge to use straight away to make sure you fully understand what's going on. First, pick any emoji and try creating it using core graphics. Some emoji aren't too hard, but other ones like the star require more thinking. Second, use a combination of move to and add line to to create and stroke a path that spells twin on the canvas. And third, go back to project three and change the way the selected image is shared so that it has some rendered text on top saying from storm viewer. This means reading the size property of the original image, creating a new canvas at that size, drawing the image in, then adding your text on top. 